Hello everyone, how are y'all doing today? That's excellent, because I got you something that we probably haven't touched in a while, and that's Poppy Playtime. So, for the past couple weeks, Bob Entertainment has introduced us to a new lovely bunch called the Smiling Critters. It's clear that they're referenced to such cartoon animal groups, or whatever you call them, like Care Bears, uh, Pony, and that's all the ones I could think of. However, that's not all we got. We got multiple screenshots of new locations we'll be exploring a new chapter, but first, let's look at the Spawning Critters themselves. Before I get into that, be sure to subscribe to me if you haven't, if you're interested in the content I make. Now, please enjoy the video. There are eight members in the Spawning Critters gang. There's an elephant, a pig, a unicorn, a dog, a bunny, a cat, a bear, and a chicken. Looks like they're meant to be plushies, probably to have something the kids to sleep in the orphanage just in case they're scared to dark or something. However, in the next post mob entertainment posted in a few hours later, you can see something isn't right about the Spying Critters poster. If you notice, the purple cat is gone, who is definitely confirmed to be the main antagonist of the next chapter. A few days later, we get the official name of the chapter 3's antagonist from a VHS cartoon mob posted on their Twitter page. His name is Catnap, and he's probably the reason the children of Plicker have nightmares in their sleep. But Catnap isn't the only character we got a name reveal of. Bomb Entertainment has been posting descriptions of each character every day on Twitter. The first we got Bubba Bubba Fin- Bubba- I cannot say that. He is the brains of the critters. Bright and attentive, he keeps his friends steady and always steers them to make smart choices. That way, he, they all might grow up to be bright and brilliant, each in their own right. His scent is lemongrass. Next we have Bobby Bearhug, a kind, caring soul. Bobby Bearhug shows compassion for everyone and for everything. People and places and things, large or small, are all receivers of her love. Each is enriched by this attention and affection, and in turn, so is she. Her scent is rose. Crafty Corn, a conscious observer of both color and creativity in the world. Crafty Corn understands the importance of art and sharing it with others, crayons, pencils, paint, or words on the page. Crafty Corn can see beauty in anything imagined given shape. Her scent is Jasmine. This is Kickin' Chicken, the cool kid of the crew, and he maintains that sense of cool through anything, even the most intense of situations. Knock him down and he'll pick himself up. Brush himself off and ask, What's next? His set is Yang Yang. Uh, if you don't know what that is, there's a picture on there. That's what it looks like. And I'll be honest, I don't think I pronounced that right. This is Dog Day, the sunny, strong, and determined leader of our critters. Each trusts him to find the bright side of any situation and to have a friendly word of encouragement. Should they feel down, he'll always keep his friends going no matter what. His scent is vanilla. By the way, I believe that Dog Day is that abomination looking creature from the teaser they posted on Poppy Playtime's anniversary that day. Piggy Pig. What's more important than play and learning? Piggy Pig knows the answer. A playful body and keen mind are fueled by what's put into them, which is why she encourages her friends to eat a well balanced diet secretly. P -p 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 Hold on. PB and J's are her favorite food. Hubbly Hopscotch. Unafraid to hop wherever others might sit, Hoppy is a friend everyone needs to maintain their energy and enthusiasm. While sometimes loud and patient, she'll always hop beside her friends even if it means slowing up once in a while to keep her pace. Her scent is peppermint. Catnap is super tall. Well, that's all the smiling critters and their personalities. I don't think I left on any members. Nope, not at all. The Smiling Critters weren't the only thing Mob Games revealed. New screenshots in the Steam Store page have been revealed as well. The first location looks like a classroom of some sort. Not much to say here, but the next screenshot, it looks like we're gonna get a new hand perhaps, or it could be just another puzzle of some sort. Now here we got a bunker bedroom, but do you notice there's a hole that's shaped like a square? Now it could be Boxy Boo that caused the hole, but I don't want to believe that because since the chapter doesn't look like it'll focus on Boxy Boo at all. The first screenshot is hard to say what type of room that is, 
But there's a box to be rug, and what looks like it'd be a giant hole. I have no idea what caused it. The next screenshot we got is an image of lockers, which is probably the entrance of a classroom we saw in image one. The next image is definitely the hallways of play care. Well, the school area at least. Though in the building, the words out of joy appear, which probably means the kids were begging to sleep like those mining critter guys in the cartoon were excited when Catnut sprayed them with the sleep gas on them. Now the next screenshot is back in the FNAF 4 looking area, but what's different about this is that there's a hospital curtain. Now I might be overthinking this, but it could be a sick room for kids in play care who got sick and they get sent here or something. This is a hallway. Now this is the entrance to play care, and this is probably the first location we'll see when we first play the chapter. That is all there is. Now the trailer might have arrived before this video came out, but I started this video before the trailer came out, and that is all. Thank you for watching everybody.